Deepak sir, thank you so much for joining in and welcome to the Money Show where uh, we'll talk about, talk about NPS and uh, the plan that PFRDA has for this uh, retirement investment instrument. So first of all, congratulations. Uh, the, the number of subscribers uh, under NPS and uh, uh, APY have uh, crossed 6.62 crores. Total AUM, if we uh, look, at the, look at the figure, it's gone uh, beyond 10 lakh crores. So congratulations, a very remarkable figure. Achievement for you. But then I also want to understand what all contributed, you know, uh, for the AUM to come at this number uh, and also what's your target for FI24 now? Uh, thank you, Kavita. Very happy to be uh, in your show. Uh, you see that uh, uh, this is uh, really a landmark uh, that uh, we achieved uh, AUM of, uh, you know, 10 trillion uh, rupees and from 5 trillion to 10 trillion, it took under three years uh, to be exact, uh, you know, two years, 10 months. Uh, to achieve this uh, this uh, this uh, number mm -hmm. and this has been possible of course this is a function of both uh, contribution coming in and the function of the market how the markets are giving uh, returns and uh, both combined so this has helped uh, this uh, corpus to uh, corpus to grow our side uh, you know a lot of digital enablement has happened uh, that uh, ekyc for example that uh, which is being done uh, seamless uh, onboarding uh, of uh, of subscriber so that uh, has also been uh, helpful and we have also activated the uh, intermediary uh, channel mm -hmm. because we have allowed uh, agents also to come in and then sell uh, nps so that uh, that also helps uh, mm -hmm. so and then finally the awareness mm -hmm. uh, we are doing uh, outreach uh, we are uh, you know even going into the regional centers and uh, speaking to the stakeholders, including subscriber, uh, so that has also helped. Also, all this combined, I would think that helped the numbers to grow. Mm -hmm. Lovely. But I also want to know what are what is your next target now for FI24? Uh, uh, what is the figure that you're looking at? See, FI24 all going well, so mm -hmm. we should be close to 12 lakh crore uh, because uh, we are past uh, you know five months. Uh, so the remaining seven months so uh, that is the kind of a number uh, that uh, we, we are aiming at we hope that you achieve that but then uh, i also want to know the kind of new features that uh, you've been adding uh, uh, to nps now uh, a specific service of swp systematic withdrawal plan that was about to be uh, introduced uh, uh, what are the implementation plans what's going to be the process uh, uh, if you can just elaborate on this no, so that's a good uh, news uh, because, uh, you know, we have gone through the uh, digital and the front-end developments sure. and uh, I'm told uh, that we should be in a position to roll it out. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, it has to be done through the CRAs mm -hmm. uh, uh, next month. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that is October, uh, somewhere starting uh, from the middle to the end. So we should, uh, we should be able to roll it out. Mm -hmm. So this gives uh, additional option uh, because, you know, if somebody uh, exits or superannuates, one would have to take uh, percent, uh, you know, in terms of annuity, uh, the balance 60% uh, uh, can be kept or withdrawn. Uh, but uh, there was kind of a demand uh, that people saying that, you know, your uh, uh, NPS is, is giving a good, uh, good return. Mm -hmm. So why not I stay? and first utilize that uh, 60%. Mm -hmm. So now what we have done that post uh, superannuation or post the age 60 till 75, one can exercise this option. Okay. So the 60% can be withdrawn on you know, uh, monthly or uh, quarterly or annual uh, uh, rest mm -hmm. uh, the way uh, the customer desires. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is also automated. So mm -hmm. they can give one time option. So the 60% gets uh, dismantled. Mm -hmm. In that process, one can even, uh, you know, the one can even uh, postpone taking mm -hmm. annuity uh, okay. to till the age of 75. Of course, one can always, uh, always exercise that option. Mm -hmm. So this brings in a lot of flexibility to the NPS. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope so there would be, you know, uh, more demand uh, going forward for the NPS.
Yes, definitely. SWP being a very important feature, especially for uh, uh, retirees. Also, we've been uh, uh, we've been noticing that PFRDA has really embarked on a very uh, a crucial branding mission for NPS. You know, uh, uh, can you throw some light as to uh, uh, how can this change the entire perception uh, of uh, uh, maybe a retirement instrument that is there in the country, or uh, maybe the way people look at NPS? What is the mission that you've 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 been on? Uh, see, the potential is huge. Uh, right. uh, you know, if Definitely. you look at the private uh, space, mm -hmm. uh, that that you would see that all citizens uh, model where anybody can really really come in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as of now, we have only uh, the thirty one uh, uh, lakh enrollments. Obviously, there is a lot lot of scope, mm -hmm. and we unscramble the data a little bit, then we see uh, that uh, seventy five percent uh, of that number. Uh, really, really comes from the uh, you know uh, the salaried uh, employed people in the government or the private uh, sector. Mm -hmm. Balance twenty five percent obviously comes from from the professionals and uh, homemakers. Even students are also also there. Uh, so there is scope for that uh, section to really really grow. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, professionals are there, uh, so they can certainly afford uh, uh, subscribe to to pension. The other aspect would be that uh, if we look at uh, in terms of the gender distribution, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, one would see that uh, this is quite imbalanced mm -hmm. because only 28 percent uh, are uh, women uh, in the in the in the whole whole setup mm -hmm. and uh, of NPS. And given that women have uh, long longer longevity, so they need the pension uh, more. Uh, so uh, you know, on their own they can do it, and where they cannot, the spouse uh, should also enable and give a, give a pension. Mm -hmm. So we are focusing on family uh, family as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, in the grouping that I said that uh, the kind of distribution that we have seen, we see some students are also there, which is a good sign. I think pension is something uh, it is important to join early, mm -hmm. so that one can really harness uh, the power of uh, compounding. So targeting more, you know, youngsters right. uh, coming into the fold. So these are the few things that that we are doing. The other area that uh, where there is potential and not yet, for example, the rural area or uh, tier two, tier three cities. Uh, so we are putting a special focus on that side mm. uh, because one thing we have done that uh, you know we are now requesting RRBs. Uh, so they're enabling that process. So they can really offer uh, uh, NPS also, uh, because as it is, the RRBs are doing pretty well uh, in in uh, in rural areas as far as uh, APY is concerned. Right. But now, additionally, they would also be offering hmm. uh, NPS. Hmm. So, so that itself should bring in a larger number of people, and people in all parts of the country uh, must will will have an access uh, to US. Mm -hmm. Hats off to the mission that you are on and uh, really great initiatives from your end, sir. But I really want to elaborate a bit on the youngster point. I mean, uh, that is a very crucial stage where you also teach them about the importance of retirement planning. How are you doing it? What kind of awareness programs, programs especially for uh, youngsters, uh, have you been rolling out? Uh, 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 when you talk about uh, focusing on them, how do you encourage them to invest at a very young age in a product like NPS? So one would be the digital uh, sure. enablement. So that means through the digital uh, uh, media, that outreach that we are doing, me media and otherwise also right. uh, social media through which uh, that we are trying to reach the youngsters. It is not the PFRDA which is also doing it mm -hmm. because the intermediaries also, we have asked them to also roll it out sure. and uh, reach out to, to youngsters sure. uh, in, in, that, uh, in that process. And uh, so as I mentioned, uh, onboarding also we have made it seamless and fully digital mm -hmm. so this should reach more and more youngsters mm -hmm. and we are also giving kind of awareness because currently the youngsters they you know keep changing jobs uh, they come in out in and out of employment mm -hmm. uh, they may work here then can go abroad uh, uh, and work and then come back mm -hmm. uh, so in that scenario so the knowledge that we are giving uh, that uh, nps is supportable uh, so one could be in a formal uh, employment uh, and tomorrow one may not be in an employment. We can change uh, the NPSM number stays. You know, it becomes for the private uh, citizen. One has a stint abroad also as an NRI uh, that one can also subscribe to uh, NPS. Uh, 
so that uh, that helps apart from that uh, we have retirement uh, plans so they're also organizing a lot of camps uh, and and they're giving knowledge uh, not only to the end users uh, but also to the intermediaries because there is a uh, there is a challenge again uh, to educate the intermediaries particularly uh, the agents uh, for example the business correspondents who could also do uh, you know you know nps so this is a new product they would be doing so there's a need uh, to educating them also and uh, elaborating the features of uh, features of nps mm. uh, so this is the way that uh, that we are we are proceeding mm. uh, but you know it is it is uh, um, for the for the long haul right. so you know given the potential which is uh, which is there uh, so we have a long way to go uh, uh, one uh, very important question, uh, uh, talking about certain states, they are opting for one-time pension. How do you look at it and uh, how does it exactly work with NPS? Because as far as we understand the product, it's not the way it works, right? Uh, the first thing I uh, should tell you that mm. uh, as far as the state governments are concerned, uh, the NPS space is growing. Exactly. Uh, that, uh, that if you see uh, that year on year, uh, because I have number up to August, so more than uh, five lakh state government employees have been uh, onboarded uh, on the on the on the NPS side, mm -hmm. and if you look at corpus, uh, you spoke about that uh, ten trillion rupees that we have. Mm -hmm. Almost half, mm -hmm. almost five trillion really uh, really comes from the from the from the state government, okay. and which on an annual basis uh, uh, mm -hmm. the current number year on year has shown an increase of about twenty six percent. Uh, so the bottom line of that is that you know the space is growing in case of in case of uh, uh, state government. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as about the few states that uh, that you mentioned, I would not like to name the states, uh, uh, but you know the states have come into this uh, uh, through their own legislative process uh, through notification mm -hmm. and uh, subscribe to our statute and the agreement. Right. Uh, so given that uh, there is no provision of uh, lump sum withdrawal by the employer. Uh, of the accumulated uh, corpus. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously, when a contribution may not come in certain cases, uh, but the corpus uh, which is there, mm -hmm. you know, that continues to grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, managed uh, in the interest of subscriber. Right. And uh, I should tell you, the return on the, in the uh, you know, state uh, scheme mm -hmm. uh, is about 9.3% uh, per annum. So it is earning a very handsome, handsome return, and continues to grow uh, in the in the, in the whole whole uh, whole process. Mm -hmm. uh, so, any update on the minimum assured return scheme? Uh, minimum assured return scheme that uh, you know from the last time we spoke, uh, we have not made uh, uh, very significant uh, significant uh, progress. Uh, that still remains uh, in the works. Uh, the issue again is to you know uh, to balance both the risk and return because uh, uh, you know additional capital has to be brought in and uh, after providing the guarantee which uh, would be provided by the private sector mm -hmm. so obviously there is a challenge uh, mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, what kind of a, a return uh, so they are they are showing uh, and interest uh, they are showing so that that would that would really help uh, customer enthuse customers to come into the minimum assured return scheme, uh, but still we are working on that. Sure. And then let's see that how uh, we go about it. Right, and we wish you all the best uh, uh, for achieving all the targets. Thank you so much for joining in today and uh, talking to us on ET Now. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, thank you, Kavita. Thank you.